Yeah, I just escaped from hell. Admit it. You thought it was pretty cool that I just escaped from that hole. Ah, alright, so who the hell am I dealing with? One can only hope that the Meninist Twitter account is complete and pure satire. No, Not one of these videos again! Ah, God damn it! I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk. If you're not updated with the Twitter sphere, then there's no need to fret, because I will tell you everything that you need to know right now. Good, because I don't want to repeat myself. Basically, someone decided that they were going to make a Meninist Twitter account. The definition of Meninism from Feminist.com is defined as follows. A global organization of men that believe in and support the feminist principles of women's political, social, and economic equality. Though the true definition of this prevalent Meninist community, or shall I say cult? This is coming from a feminist, ladies and gentlemen. A fucking feminist! Is as follows. Whiny white men who must make everything revolve around them because they can't accept the truth that oppression against women exists, so to justify their kitchen jokes and slut-shaming, they talk about their daily trials and tribulations, i.e. having to hold doors and stuff. Don't you just love the massive hypocrisy when it comes to feminism? You know, how, you know, these feminists, you know, bring up the dictionary and be like, See, 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 you see? Feminism means equality. The dictionary says so. And then just turn around and abandon the dictionary entirely when it comes to words like sexism and feminism. No, but really, the shit that they post has caused me to lose brain cells. Did you just censor yourself? No, but really, the shit that they post has caused me to lose brain cells. What the fuck is the point of censoring yourself? If you don't want people to hear you curse, then maybe you shouldn't curse at all! Ever thought of that, genius? But for some real talk now, yes, the Minimus Twitter account is a satire account. But guess what? It is satirizing... Take a big fucking guess... <gasps> of course! Feminism! And you wonder why they're doing so? Because... Feminism is basically a big, fat joke. Now, the funny thing is that people like yourself like to complain about how these quote-unquote menimists are complaining about trivial stuff. But yet, turn around and, you know, clap your fucking hands when something like this happens. You see, this is how it works. The Menemist parries the feminist to show on how ridiculous the feminist community has become. Some examples of tweets. What that mouth do besides complain? Why is it called history? Cause no one cares about her story. What's the difference between a knife and a feminist arguing? A knife has a point. What that mouth do? <laughs> you know, stuff like bring awareness to what imbeciles on the internet who are about as useful as mentally able bronies who live in their parents' basement and Oh my gosh, she's calling bronies to be mentally unstable! My fellow bronies, attack her! But seriously though, what good is your mouth outside of spilling bullshit? And eat chicken nuggets all day. Uh, what they post on the internet. Basically, things that add to the oppression that women feel on a daily basis living in the society that we live in. Like holding doors for women and calling women love or dear. I also complain. This account may very well be satire, and if it's not, that's really upsetting. You have eyes! Use them! But even if it is, there are so many people who actually agree with it. And by people, I don't only mean men. So many people agree. And take a good fucking guess on why they agree. There's actually a portion of the population of the world who finds that tweet funny and valid. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Truthfully, as Big Tato, I can say personally that I have never really experienced oppression like other people have, maybe. Maybe that's because I'm white, maybe that's because of the area I live in. Whatever. That can also be because I avoid <laughs> any social situation that I possibly can. That pretty much explains everything I need to know. 
but if there's one thing that I've watched on countless occasions, it's objectification. Because only women get objectified. And, you know, apparently only women can get objectified. You know, men, they can't get objectified. No way. Nah, -uh. no, 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 <laughs> no. I know boys who do not give a single sh about the person that they're trying to get with, aside from what's under their clothes. The same could be applied to women. It's animal-like, but a lot of people seem to consider it a minuscule issue. But so many minuscule issues, when they are put together, compiled, add to an even bigger issue. But of course, this only applies to women only. <laughs> it doesn't make it not bad because it's not as big of a deal. I don't know why it's so hard for people to not be pigs. We all live on the earth together, and I don't know why we can't just look at each other like we are all human. It is not 100% impossible to objectify a woman and still see her as a person. And also, life isn't really all about you physically pleasing yourself all the time. Just treat other people like human beings. Well... People already do treat other people with respect. They see them as uh, human beings. Well, maybe not you because you have the eagle the size of a fucking elephant's cock. It's kind of heart-wrenching when you have to watch your gender, what you identify as, be completely made a fool out of every single day. Yet modern day feminists have no problem dehumanizing a man whenever an opportunity presents itself. May it be spreading your legs in a subway station or farting. Things like the Meninist Twitter, whether it's a joke or not, they just make things worse. The gender that I identify as has a history of working in a kitchen or complaining or being hard to read. We are the butt of a total other gender's jokes. And us men had to hunt, build, provide shelter, take care of the family, and even go to war. We're somehow problematic. We're a gender that gets paid less. Debunked. We're a gender where people had to make an app where you hold down a button when you're walking home and if you let go of the button and you don't type your code in within 10 seconds, the police get called because people always have to be worried about the fact that they can easily get attacked on the street just because they're a woman. Because taking precautions is sexist. And people can't control themselves. I am also not saying that men don't experience any sort of oppression, but it's also not a contest. I'm just regurgitating facts. And the so-called facts that you have is easily debunkable. It's about bringing people together, and by raising awareness to problems that women face on a daily basis, I'm not asking for someone else to tell their problems. I'm asking for them to help end the fact that we have to state our problems because they exist primarily because of the other gender. I'm sorry I'm male! I'm sorry I'm white, but seriously, the so-called problems that you face is goddamn minimal, if not non-existent. We're supposed to fight for each other, keep each other safe, keep each other at least content as possible. Join the hive mind. Join the hive mind. It's time to fix it, or it's time to at least try to fix it, and I know that people are trying, but some people give too much and some people don't give anything. There has to be a medium. So fight for each other and make good choices. Well, you made a terrible choice by going after the Menemist. <sighs> now you paid the price. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer and I need to find a way to get out of this fucking desert.